Welcome back. The Anacostia Art Center showcasing a new exhibit. It's called Love, Hope, and Art Woven Thread. We are joined now by curator Luis De Valley, Associate Creative Director Jess Randolph, and Managing Director Jeffrey Harrell. Welcome. Good morning. Awesome. Good morning. Jess, got to start with you. Oh. Putting this. <laughs> <laughs> How did this all come together, and why is it so important to be having this exhibit now? Yeah, so um, I am proud to be the Associate Creative Director serving at Anacostia. Arts Center. Um, part of my responsibility is putting together a curatorial calendar. I thought that, you know, Luis, he's a trailblazer and a mm -hmm. leader in our community, mm -hmm. and I thought it was a no-brainer to <laughs> invite him to come and curate a show in our space to celebrate uh, Latino and Hispanic heritage, mm -hmm. and the show is banging, so I'm, I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> Luis, what did it mean to you to be asked to do this, especially this month? Uh, it meant so much to me because it's done in my community, mm -hmm. and we're really showing uh, people how diverse that Hispanic culture is. We have people, uh, it's like the rainbow. You have people of every color that look different, blue on hair, blue eyes. We have dark skinned people. We have, my mom is so much lighter than I am. And I have cousins that are so much darker. So the Hispanic community is just so diverse. And to be able to with Jess, um, Jeffrey, and everybody at the Anacostia Art Center, it's just been amazing because we are all a community and we are like family. Can yeah. we ask you about this beautiful painting yes. that's behind us? It's kind, it is, it's gorgeous. Is it okay to say it's kind of a Frida Kahlo inspired? You, you know what? It, uh, it's Mexican. Mexican. Uh, the Mexican so tradition. Maybe that's yes, it is. And you know, Frida Kahlo is such a powerful artist um, that she inspires all of us. And this actually is uh, a celebration of Dia de los Muertos, the Day of the mm. Dead. And we're looking at death not as a bad thing, but actually as something that we can embrace and celebrate. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, a lot of times when we, even with the pandemic, we had a lot of death going on with pe people that we know, people that we don't know. And sometimes we have to realize that we're all gonna face that one day and it's just a matter of how we approach it. So me, myself, as an artist, I think about death a lot, but I'm not like, oh, it's a bad thing, I'm gonna die tomorrow. It's more about it's gonna happen one day mm -hmm. and every day I have to make it count. I and that, that, I think yeah. it's, that's the best way to look at it. Yeah, mm -hmm. that says a lot. Um, mm -hmm. Jeffrey, yes, it's been beautiful. open, the exhibit has been for a little bit. What what has the reception been like? The reception has been amazing, actually. Mm -hmm. We had, we were, uh, we participated in Art All Night uh, which is a wider Washington DC yeah. and we had over <laughs> you were there? Yeah, yeah. Exactly. we yeah. had every street. It's absolutely every street. absolutely and we yeah. we had over 400 people visit the art wow. center wow. and so the art center is really uh, a community center uh, located right in the heart of Anacostia we're uh, powered by WACIF which is the Washington area community investment fund um, and we are just so proud to be able to um, be a center uh, like that uh, in, in DC. We have retail, we have a small business incubator located there as well. And so we're just we're just thrilled uh, that, yeah. that we can be such a large part of the community. Yeah. We're seeing some more artwork mm -hmm. on, on the screen, um, everything that you all are, are showing for everybody. Um, what is it about art? Luis, I'll go to you. What is it about art that kind of brings a community together? I think the most important thing that it's a universal language. Uh, you don't have to be highly educated uh, to understand art. Art just makes you feel an emotion. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. personally, I like to focus on very bright colors and things that people can relate to and not make it so that the community can, adent can uh, c uh, connect with it. Right. So I think the most important thing is to know that um, you can go into a museum, whether you're three years old or you're 80 years old, and you're still gonna appreciate work That's of art, right. and you're gonna find something that you love. Yeah. And I think bringing this to the art center was just amazing. Oh, yeah. Jess, well done. Good pick. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Well done. Thank you. Great show. Yes. Real quick, when does it go till? When can we see the art? Oh, until mid-October, correct? Okay, perfect. Yeah. Yeah. All right, yeah. so you have time. Get out there and enjoy. Thank you guys for being here and yeah. bringing this beautiful piece. We appreciate it. Absolutely. Thanks for having us.